All right, calling all strong women. We've got some here on the panel today. What would you guess women are most stressed out about in their careers? Well, according to the results of an annual survey, the most common problem women face is that they don't feel confident. So what can we do as moms, sisters, friends to change that and help bring up strong, confident women. Joining me today for Real Talk, author and co-founder of the Ron Clark Academy, Kim Bearden stuck around, author and comedian Amy Lyle, and author and motivational speaker Erica Strong. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's, <laughs> before we get into it, I want you to tell people how many daughters each of you have and their ages. Okay. Go ahead well, first, Erica. I have three girls. Okay. 26. 19. Okay. And 13. Oh my gosh. We have three. That's incredible. <laughs> you have three We too. have three. Um, okay. 10th grade, 11th grade, and then uh, freshman and sophomore in college. Oh my gosh. I know, it's too many. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Oh wait, one what, of those how is many a boy. More? We have three girls. Okay, that's okay. I mean, three you, girls, one boy. I don't know how yeah. you guys all do it. I yeah, was wondering, I can't, oh my gosh. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. <laughs> it's incredible, it really is. Are you so kidding? I have one 28-year-old daughter, yes. three adopted sons. They're 16 and 17. And then I've taught a couple thousand oh, girls over I, the past 32 years mm -hmm. also through those middle school years. So that's uh, yes. a key point. Okay, that is Incredible. Um, I want to jump right in. Do you think it's different now raising young women than when you were raised? Erica, let's start with you. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Because for me, and I am stoked about this topic, strong women, strong everything, because mm -hmm. of course my last name is Strong. Sure. <laughs> but I was so excited because my mom taught me to be girly, docile, you know, quiet, and just like a little pristine girl. Right. But I'm realizing now that by being a little bit more transparent with my children, letting them see me cry, letting them see me hurt, letting them see the pain that life can bring and the joy, it helps to create that balance in that strong young girl, young woman, now strong woman. Right, yeah. right. My, yeah, my mom constantly told me, pretty is as pretty does. Mm -hmm. And I, I still, I yeah. just figured out what that meant. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, I, but she was always very into, you know, you could do anything mm -hmm. you want, you could be anything you want. Mm -hmm. But I feel like her words were a little different than her actions, just because of how she was raised. Yeah. She wanted to put it on me to do that. But when I would watch her, sometimes I would think, oh, maybe... You know, you say one thing, do another. Amy, what about you? Oh, be a lady was screamed at me, which is not ladylike. Be a lady! Be a lady! <laughs> right. And so now I feel like I'm, you know, trying to raise my my girls to be um, all that they want to be, but I, I still have that in me. So I'm like, rule the world, then say thanks. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? right? Yes. Yeah. Kim, what about you? I think a change that is dangerous is actually the social media aspect. You know, mm -hmm. in this world where everything is generated by followers and likes, I think that I see a lot of young ladies that they're building their self-worth around, do I look pretty in this picture? I'll take 43 to post the one, you know, right. and use a filter, and then they see somebody else's image and think that I'm supposed to look like that. These unattainable images of perfectionism, I think that that's something mm -hmm. that we have to deal with when we're trying to build those confident girls. Well, too. I say, it really is the worst, right? Because yeah. we validate, and I mean, we do it as adults, too. Mm -hmm. You validate mm -hmm. some of your worth on how many likes you get, and mm -hmm. then after you're done validating yourself, you compare yourself to the other pictures. Oh, yeah. It's right. a vicious cycle. There's always going to be somebody out there <laughs> yes. with, with, with more likes. Right, so, yes. right. So how do you go yeah. about teaching your daughter? Because they're not going to get off social media. Right. Yeah, honestly, I feel like you're... you're presence and your transparency is what teaches them because we can say it all day like I think one of you guys just said your mother said it right. your mother said it but like you didn't know yep. what she meant by it so like she had oh, to I know what she meant. It. you know what I'm saying you, you have to be it so mm -hmm. if I am that strong woman and I think people kind of misunderstand that strong understanding it's not rude it's not bitter it's not mean mm -hmm. it's not you know boisterous it's like confident right. it's like loving it's, it's gentle it's kind and it's just like a presence that you bring so if you are that for your children they will be that right mm -hmm. right to that point Erica we asked on Facebook about um, raising strong women and Tina said this is what she does to encourage her daughter to make her own decisions and live with the consequences if she makes the wrong choice let her figure it out even if it's painful it will be a life lesson mm -hmm. so that's another thing is letting mm -hmm. our our daughters our friends fail sure Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and see that um to your point, mm -hmm. if their intentions are honorable, I mean, regardless mm -hmm. of what you do, you're gonna take some heat from somebody. That's the world. But if you are well-intended, then you have to be confident in yourself and those decisions and let the world's opinions fall where they may. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's 
Right. You can still be, mm -hmm. a lot of women, if you had a man say something versus a woman say something in a CEO situation, the woman's comments probably will make the news that right. she's so aggressive or will be perceived negative. Right. But really, if she's doing the right thing for the company and she knows that, she's got to stand firm in her, her decisions. Right. You're never going to please all the people. You're never going to please everyone. Yeah. And yeah. I think that that's, I, I love, I think it's very important for children to understand that there are consequences to their actions and, and to learn from them. And I think that, I, I don't know if you all agree with me, but I see a lot of times mamas, they're just so worried if their child makes a mistake that they'll look bad. Right. Oh, and I yeah. think that um, a lot of times we, we get lost in defining ourselves through our children. I mean, we should love our children. They're everything to mm -hmm. us. But mm -hmm. if your child makes a mistake, that does not mean you're a bad mother. Right. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we try to fix the mistakes for them so that everybody will feel like, oh, Mm -hmm. As a good mom, that child does everything the right way right. instead yeah. of letting them learn and grow from the experience. Yeah, my daughter's taught me really well, especially my 19-year-old who is, has like a huge, huge personality. And she taught me that I could not stuff her in this box that I thought was normal to mm -hmm. fit the impression of my friends and everybody around me. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to dress a certain way. I wanted her to go to a certain school. And when she defied everything, mm -hmm. I, I had to really respect her strength in letting her mm -hmm. be herself. And how long did it take you to go? Oh, it took 10 minutes. It, took me a while. it was yes. battles. It was just like us not like really seeing right. eye to eye. It was just like me feeling like she's not listening to me. And then I realized, wait a minute, Erica, what is the foundation of why you feel this way? I felt that way because I didn't want people to perceive her a different way. Sure. I didn't want people to look at her a different way. I didn't want people to look at me a different and way. And she reflects you, you felt like. Exactly. Yes. And so I was trying to put off right. on her what I wanted everybody to think of us and our family and my daughter. That is but then, good work, Erica. Mm, yeah, and I had to just yeah. back off. Right. I am you know? not backing off. Yeah. <laughs> our 18-year-old our, our came home, this uh -huh. beautiful, brilliant young lady getting ready to go to college, and she got a snake tattoo on her head right here. Oh and um, she's like, she gave me the, it's my money. And I said, well, you're, now your money is going to go for your car insurance and your phone if you don't get that snake tattoo off your oh head Wait, oh, hold on. immediately. Why she get it okay. off her head? <laughs> she would have to have, she have no hair and she put no, a No, just kind of, kind of like okay. right here. Okay, so you can't okay. see if her hair's down. Sure. Madison, oh, I need to get Madison, a full your, picture. Your, your, summer, <laughs> your summer money, your summer babysitting money is going for to get that lasered off. Oh, because wow. we're well, not, yeah, I'm not going to have, have it. your rules. Yeah, yes, yeah, that yeah. is a rule. But that doesn't no make tattoos. you a bad mother because she made a bad choice. That's important. Absolutely. You're a good mother. You're just a because good mother. You're I'm a good yes. mother because I am like that. We will not have snakes on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> we will not. No. Because it can prohibit oh her from getting a job. Yeah. Right. And like you yeah. said, to your point, I mean, she's going to sorority rush in two weeks. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, <laughs> are you in a gang? Are you in a satanic cult? <laughs> <laughs> what is a snake? Did she tip you off on no. it? Or she no. Did. no. She did. I thought maybe a dragonfly on her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just needs a hug. It's just, <laughs> she's like, it's my money and it's my body. And we're like, oh, no. if we're paying for your college tuition, oh, that wow. will be removed immediately. Well, that oh, would be a more oh, extreme wow. example. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And yes. like, if they want to color their hair, right. what they wear, yeah. I'm really fine with that. But the snake on the head, oh, wow. I was done. Well, no. that's Madison no. pretty bad. Madison. <laughs> No. Kim, did Madison, your Madison I love you, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> did your Madison ever put a snake on her head? She did not. She okay. does have some tattoos, but the, they're, they're not on the head. So it's, it's, but, but she did. Sometimes she, she's a phenomenal woman. Right. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. But she made some bad choices, but I had to realize that it's not I'm, doesn't make me a bad mom. And I think sometimes we get caught mm -hmm. up in the emotions of our children. If our child is yeah. having a bad day, we have a bad day. If our mm -hmm. child is having a good day, we have a good day. And we allow that, that flow to dictate how we feel. And they need us to be the constant the sure. study, to be that calm, to be confident, mm -hmm. to be confident in our role as a mother. And then when they see that, that filters down to them. Right. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Abby, you share something yes, really quickly. Please. Like you said, just you, you have to be that mom and it's okay because you have to have that, be that steady course. So last night I was at dinner and I had a, a text message from my 19 year old and she texted me, it was like, mom, I just watched one of your videos on your YouTube, YouTube channel, which is er Finishing Strong with Erica Strong. And she said, I realized that the light that we have in us as young girls came from you. And <gasps> oh, she said, you did such an amazing, amazing job raising your girls. This is my daughter <gasps> talking to me. Well the done, one you. that hated my choices <laughs> right? the way I tried to dress her. Sure. And then she had a, a tattoo put on her wrist and I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Yes. <laughs> Madison. Yeah, and how'd that feel? I mean, when you were reading that, were you... Oh, I teared up. Yeah. I was just like, oh That's my God. So and then here's this topic today. I thought, sure. man, so she made me understand if we model it, mm -hmm. they, they're listening. Right. And right. they do grow yeah. up. Our, our um, daughter that went to college last year within, uh, it felt like nine minutes. It was probably the first semester. She's like, 
now I see. You know, yeah. she understood. Yeah. A lot of things came together for her. She's like, I get it. Yes. And so they will, it just takes they time. They do, they come back, right. you, they go through a period. Right. If you're a mom of a teen girl or a young girl, they go yeah. through a period where you don't know anything. And yeah. then when they get in their 20s, you become the wisest human being in the world. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, my daughter sent me a text message one day. She said, I'm in Target in the dressing room and I hear a girl talking to her mother. I am so sorry if I ever talk to you this way <laughs> wow. about a clothing. I you must know, have nine inch heels. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yes. wearing nine yeah. inch heels right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're not. Oh, See, wow. I'm so jealous because I had You'll that. Well, I You'll had that relationship there. with my mom, but mm -hmm. I have boys and they're just going to oh. leave. Can we say one thing about boys though? It's okay. important is that I, the, the moms of boys, I think it's really important to pour into boys and talk to them about the way that they speak to the females and the way they mm -hmm. speak about them, that they don't criticize their appearance, their looks, that they, oh. that they really, you know, raising our young men to sure. be respectful and uplift women, that's really important. I am so yes. glad that you said that. Yeah. I take that to heart every day. And mm -hmm. actually, quickly, I we were at a party one time. My son was served a piece of pizza, mm -hmm. and he blotted his pizza <laughs> with a napkin. <laughs> Like this. He's like calories. And I said, calories. I got down there and I said, you do you never do that again. You do not do that ever again. You eat those calories because I don't want your poor partner sometime in life to be like, I can't she enjoy the grease pizza. on my <laughs> You know? No. That was my immediate thought. So thank you so much, ladies, for being here today. And we all um, just raise strong, healthy humans, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Good thank in the you world. so much. That's right. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. Don't go anywhere. I think we're trending with Trent after the break. Woo! We'll see you then. All right. <laughs> Can't wait. Come take a picture. Yay. <laughs>